take a look at how this system operates and what you can do to make it run a lot more efficient. Down below on the bottom of your fridge, just located underneath the doors, is your coil system. Let's take a quick look inside this coil system and see what we can see. As you can tell, it is completely covered with dirt, hair, uh, pet dander, all other kinds of things uh, that is definitely going to affect the efficiency of this fridge. What we want to do is we want to open this back up and let it cool itself down. This sure doesn't run quite as much. So we'll show you what we do, how we do it, and what it looks like afterwards. This here is your drip pan area. Let's pull this out and take a quick peek at what we have in here. As you notice, there's a lot of black, crusty material. That is what we know it is mold. Um, your fan blows across here, blowing all of that mold and disease out into your living space. So you want to make sure that you wash these quite often. We generally recommend quarterly. Here we are getting ready to clean out the coil system. As you notice, we brought our vacuum system up and put it on one side of the fridge. That way when we go to clean this out, we don't cause a mess in your home. As you can see here, just starting to remove some of it and the coil is actually starting to be able to be seen again. This allows the airflow to come across this and cool this unit down, uh, which the compressor needs to do. As you can see, our coil system is fairly clean now. Matter of fact, almost like back to new condition. We'll zoom out a little bit here and give you a little bit better focus. Uh, the yellow stuff on top is insulation, which comes standard with the fridge. Um, and we'll kind of zoom in. You remember, right, before you couldn't even see this coil system where it was or how it was even hooked up. Trust the professionals. Owner-operated with 30 years of experience, Dustbusters, Alexandria.